Hello, hello, hello again. So, uh, this is my Longchamp collection. And it's grown by three in the last four months. <laughs> uh, so I just thought I'd do a quick, uh, not really a review. Just want to show my pieces. And then I think what I'm gonna do is um, I'll do a comparison of sizes. Uh, and then, um, also I'm just going to break it up into, I think, mm, three categories. I'm going to do my late, uh, traditional late pliage pieces, uh, the Neo, uh, I guess I should say travel pieces, which is the Neo and the shoulder bag. And then I'll do my leather pieces. So actually there's going to be four categories, traditional travel bags, leather, and then my newest baby. Okay, all right, just a moment, let me get started. All righty, so uh, as most everyone knows, the Le Pliage, and I apologize if I'm pronouncing this incorrectly, <laughs> but the Le Pliage pieces, uh, Longchamp is known for their beautiful way of designing the bag that it folds up very neatly, which I love. And as far as sizing goes, uh, well, I should say, there's two types of handles. There's the long handles for the shoulder carry, then there's the shorter handles for a hand carry. And I have two in the small size on the shorter handles. For longer handles, I have one medium and one large. So I'm gonna do a quick size comparison for you guys next. Uh, just so you know, this is a special edition uh, limited edition by Sarah Morris from 2014. So its design is a little different. You can see it's white. The leather flap and handles are white. The other ones, they're brown. And that's traditionally the way Longchamp pieces come. with The brown uh, flap and handles. And then the varying colors. And this is navy. You know, honestly, I don't know the frou-frou name or whatever name is on the Longchamp website, but this is a deep navy color. This is like a, a salmon, salmon-y pink color. And this is, a, I'm pretty sure this one actually was called um, granite. I believe it was called granite, and it's a gray color. Okay, just a moment. Let me open these bad boys up for you. All righty. So, ooh, let's see if this is going to focus for me. Yay? No? Eh, we'll do with, work with what we got. <laughs> so this is a large, medium, and these are the same size. These are smalls. So you can see this large comparison to in comparison to the medium. Significant difference. Let me just move it all over to the same corner. That'll probably give you a better idea. So if we put it down here. There we go, to the side, maybe down, to give you an idea how much larger it is, the size difference. Alrighty, and then if we decide to then compare this to the small, do the same thing, have it line up over here as much as possible. There we go, so you can see the differences. Now it's a little bit of a, apples to oranges or maybe a um uh, apples to what's close to an apple i, I don't know <laughs> because these actually the sizing may not be the same they may not, may not be uniform between the short handle la pliage bags and the long handled ones so um uh if there's someone that i follow um joshy michaels uh purse demented they both have youtube channels and they both like the uh La Pliage bags. Um, someone else, they both also have Instagram channels, so you can check them out there as well. Also, PB and Jam, she has an Instagram. I don't believe she has a YouTube, but she has an Instagram. And she's also um, very well informed about La Pliage, excuse me, about long shop bags. So, anyways, nice little size comparison. I don't want this one to feel left out. <laughs> and as you can see, like I said before, the traditional way the bags come are with the brown. This was a special edition, Sarah Moore special edition. And um, the only thing I could see different is this is like a, a special color, a periwinkle color with the white handles. You see? Alrighty, so these are my Le Pliage pieces. Let me go on to my next group. 
Alrighty, so these two pieces I primarily use for travel. Uh, this one I've not had very long, but I've used it for two little mini trips I've gone on and I've really enjoyed it. So this is the Le Pliage Neo. And I believe the difference between the other pieces I showed you before, the regular Le Pliage bags and the Le Pliage Neo, is that the Neo bags are monochromatic. So this is gray, so the shoulder strap, uh, that of course the bag color is gray, but so is the leather, the leather pieces, so are the leather pieces, and so is the zipper. So I really like that monochromatic look, and also it comes with a shoulder strap. Um, this might be considered a crossbody bag, but not on me. <laughs> I'm plus size, I'm 22, 24, and this is not comfortable on me as a crossbody. It hits me too high on the side of my body, and it's a little too snug across my chest. So this is the Le Pliage Neo, and this one I believe it's called just the uh, Le Pliage shoulder bag, and it has a pocket on the side that I use for my cell phone, and it has a number of compartments. Well, I shouldn't say a number. I think there's two. <laughs> but there's a number of compartments on the end, uh, two compartments. You see a big zipper one and then just a flap. And it's just a big old cavernous hole. And I love it. It's wonderful for travel. You can put a bunch of stuff in it. Is this going to cooperate for me? Let's see if it will. You see? I don't know if I can catch the light. But lots and lots of room. And it is very, very functional for traveling. All right, and if we want to get a maybe a size comparison, uh, let me see. So this is my medium. So slightly bigger than the medium. And this really, there's no comparison really, but I mean, I guess just to give you somewhat of an idea. So this is the medium La Pliage tote. And then if you want to take a look at the large, you know, this is just... Large is bigger than this size. I'm assuming then this is a medium, maybe, even though the medium was smaller. Um, but the, it's a Neo, so the, it, the, <laughs> the size medium in the Neo line might be different than the regular La Pliage line. Alrighty. And then I don't think seeing a size comparison with the other is going to be helpful, but here you go. Oops. There you go. Now that's not helpful at all. Maybe I guess for the width. I'll help you give you an idea there. There you go. So it's not quite as wide as the large. Alrighty. So I'll put this bad boy back. And put Miss Neil back. Alrighty. So these are my two travel pieces. Highly recommend. They are very functional lightweight travel pieces. Love them. All right, let me bring up my next set of babies. All righty. So these are the leather pieces that I own. The long, the, uh, uh, long Champ leather is just, I love it. It's beautiful. Absolutely love it. So this is my uh, Le Pliage Cure. And I believe Cure is French for leather, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> but this is a wonderful crossbody bag for plus size girls, plus size men or women. Uh, I'm a 22, 24. I'm about 5'6", a little over 5'6", and this works beautifully as a crossbody. So just in case you've never seen one, this little front pocket, and ugh, husband did that. Ugh, but it's okay. It's only a bag. <laughs> this is the interior, and it holds so much. It may look like it doesn't, but oh my goodness, it does, it does indeed. And then I have two small leather goods. So this is uh, a card holder. So um, I keep my receipts. Anything proving the value and the authenticity, I keep with the item. So if I ever do decide to sell, I have it with it. So anyways, that's what that is, the original price tag and the receipt. So anywho, so you know, this fits a ton of cards and when I wear my smaller items whether smaller bags whether it's Longchamp or otherwise this really really comes in handy 
Yes. And then this is a zip zip around wallet. I believe that's what it's called. It's a beautiful chocolate color. Love it, love it, love it. And then you can take a look at this on the interior. Zip pocket. This is a little flap. Uh, a little flap here. Card slots. And there's no flap on this side. So there's just the one flap on this side here and then the flap here. But like this is perfect. I love it. I think it's wonderful. There you go. Love it, love it, love it. So these are my three leather pieces. And then I have one more left in my collection. All right. And last but definitely not least is my Longchamp Mademoiselle bag uh, in color block canvas. So, um, see it's canvas it is not leather it is leather trim and leather tab here and yeah I'm one of those I leave the plastic on until it falls off <laughs> and then there's a leather handle here and then you just pull it down you have to pull this button down because it took me a minute to figure out how to put you have to pull it down and then you pull on this and there you go that's the interior of me stuff right now this is the interior and it is so let me see if I can catch a light it is so roomy so there's two pockets here you see that and then there's one zip pocket in the back this is such a functional bag I love it absolutely love it definitely it's a weekend bag it's not really a bag I can use for work because it doesn't quite hold enough for me but oh my goodness I love it absolutely love it Yes, so if anyone wants a more detailed review, just let me know. Um, I don't know. It just seems like Longchamps, they're, it's not, there's not a lot of variety in them. Um, they're wonderful bags. Uh, so, And I think I have uh, a small review on this bag when I first got it. So not really a review. I just bought the bag. But <laughs> there's a small little something-something on this bag that um, when I first bought it, I think it's back in December, a video I did in December. But the other bags, uh, they're pretty standard, but I definitely, if you want something, a more detailed review, I am more than happy to do so. Gosh, I just love this bag. I wear it all the time. I don't always post on my Instagram account when I wear it because people will get sick of it. I wear it so much. <laughs> but Mademoiselle bags, um, I'm really, I would love to get a leather one, but I'm not going to push my luck. All right, until next time, y'all. Bye. Turtle. Okay, so the video is actually not over with. My honey just came home, so I may be able to do some mod shots. So, this is the first bag. Remember, don't get my face, baby. <laughs> so this is the Mademoiselle. It is a wonderful bag. And like I said, I'm a 2224. So that's the first bag. The next one is the Longchamp La Pliage Cure. And then this is the one that works wonderful as a crossbody bag for us plus size chicks. It's wonderful. And I'm gonna make this fast because my honey just came home from work and he's hungry. But he loves me, so he's doing this for me. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry, babe. Okay. And this is one of my travel bags. This is just a long shop shoulder bag, I think. Or maybe it's La Playa shoulder bag. There we go. And this is my Neo. And like I said, I use it as a shoulder bag, crossbody. This is what it looks like crossbody, and it just, I don't like the way it falls on me. So this might not bother other people. This one right here, uh-uh. <laughs> so there's that. And then I have my long shop. Uh, oops, I one hand. There we go. This is the special edition one. Oh. Special edition. <laughs> I 
And then that was the large. This is the medium. There we go. And then these are the two handhelds. Yay! All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching the video. Until next time. Bye. Thank you, honey.